Hey, what's up, everybody? Too Tall Toby here. And a few weeks ago, we concluded our 2025 CAD vs. CAD speed modeling tournament known as the Spring Open. And the finals of that matchup were absolutely epic. And I'm very excited today to bring you the first of those matchups. But although those finals are complete, our next tournament is just around the corner and we are looking for some epic competitors for that tournament. So if you want to qualify for free, you can enter our leaderboard challenge at twotalltoby.com slash variety and you can get yourself into that next CAD vs. CAD tournament. Now, this tournament that just concluded featured two of our regulars on our weekly live stream, Model Monday Live, and it was Ricardo Jean from Italy. You can see here, Ricardo loves his wife, been using SolidWorks since 2006, and his brother and father are both epic SolidWorks users as well. And Ricardo was going up against Atze, and Atze is a proud part of the Heavy Bikes design team at heavybikes.net. He works at Kemet. He's been a freelancer since 2009, and he's never lost a chess match with his son so far. So Ricardo from Italy, Atze from Macedonia, they're both SolidWorks users, and this was an absolutely epic first battle. But guys, there were several epic battles throughout these finals. So be sure to come back for the next video. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Leave me some comments down below about what you thought about this battle. And hey, one of the things that's really fun for our users to do is when the drawing is shown, pause the video, take a screen capture, and maybe time yourself and see how long it takes you to complete this challenge. And then when you're done, you can restart the video, and that way you can see how you stack up against our competitors, and then you can see if they modeled it maybe a little differently than you modeled it. All right, I hope everybody enjoys this epic highlight from our CAD vs. CAD tournament finals. How all the systems work. There's only yeah. really one thing left to do, and that is to turn to the Wheel, Wheel of, of Fate. Fate. So you guys can see here on the Wheel of Fate, we have three challenges, special challenges that we put together for this championship match. And wow, 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 am I excited to see how these guys do. Connor, which do you think is gonna be the first one? I think it's gonna be challenge number 19, challenge number 20, or challenge number 21? I mean, I think it's gonna be 20, but I will say that one of my favorite numbers ever is 19. It's one of my favorite prime numbers. Okay. So I like in the chat all the people trying to figure out if they have clairvoyance. Rambro's Workshop coming in with 20. Vicky Chong, 21. FPV Kev, 20. Scott Makes a Thing, 21. Mesa Makes, 21. Pico Boo, 19. Jim Yu, 21. And Matab says, OMG, it's finally time. Yeah, that's how I feel as well. Ricardo Jean, 19. Easy, 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 19. Mario Mario, 21. Rockcrawler, 21. And Design Dreamer, 21. Matab, 21 for sure. Jern, 19. John G is here, 19. All right, guys. Connor is back with his updated merch. Let's go. Rocking the orange, bright orange. Too Tall Toby. Too Tall Toby. Sweatshirt. I love it. All right, guys. Let's give this thing a rip and see what happens. Here we go. Bang. Oh, 20, boy. 20, 20, 20. What is it going to be? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. Guys, the Wheel of Fate has spoken. Well, we've seen the practice. We've seen the lead up. We've seen the third and fourth place battle. Now comes the time for our very first championship match this cad vs cad championship battle between ricardo jean from italy using solidworks and atze from macedonia using solidworks oh yeah begins in three two, two one, one go. go what is the mass of this part in xx.xx grams please grab a screen capture of this part and begin modeling. And for all those of you out there that are watching, grab a screen capture so that you can follow along with. Both of our runners are taking a moment to really kind of breathe in what's going on with this model. But it looks like they're both kind of getting ready to start sketching. Okay, they're both starting their very first sketch here. It looks like both of our runners are starting out on the top plane, creating a 55 millimeter square both of our runners adding the fillet to that first square. And looks like it is Ricardo Jean on the left taking first blood. 
Mr. Mesa says, all my students just gasped audibly, audibly. And now Ace has got his first feature extruded as well. So they've both got that first feature extruded. That's a three millimeter thick base. Yeah. This model is tricky. This yeah. is a, a, a tier five model, but definitely a tricky model. Uh, one of the things that's tricky about it is that it has different wall thicknesses. We got the base at three millimeters, and then everything else is at 1.5 millimeters. Metav in the chat recognizing, I like how they are taking time. Yeah. Yes, normally we see these guys jumping right in, but this time they are kind of taking their time. I yeah. say, or Ricardo in the, in the chat on the left there, uh, potentially using a little bit of a, an Ivan exploit there. Uh, he decided to maybe locate those those C bores a little uh, uh, inappropriately, but you know maybe he'll be able to get away with it. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Aaron C says the varying thickness of wall, varying wall thickness definitely changes your order of operations. Yes, I think that we could all agree there. It's so weird seeing these guys not just blitzing through immediately <laughs> like that's this, how you know this is a weird model this is one where they have to take some time and really think about it there's yeah. a lot going on in this model there's some for those of you who grabbed the screen capture there are some hints in the model you could always go back or you could even open up a second tab of youtube and then you could um bring up the original drawing and just put that on a second screen or you know or a second window in the background just pause it on the drawing yeah how many tiers Yes, I like how FPV Kev said how many tears, but like, oh God, it's too hard. <laughs> like how many tears, it makes yeah. him cry. So deliberately misspelled. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. It's going to be a lot of tears, I think. Yeah. In response to Jern, this I, this has got to be on the cusp of tier five and tier six. Yeah, I, I agree. It's definitely in between. Um, and uh, there are, I put some hints in it, which ultimately the hints on the drawing, I think, brought it down to a, to a tier five. Mm. But there's, you know, this is definitely one. Uh, Wolfgang R says, I would need more than two days to model this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron C says, I wonder if we'll see a wrong answer or two. Getting this one the first try is instant goat status. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this one was actually inspired by uh, somebody posted something in the Fusion um, Reddit, the Fusion subreddit. And they said, how do you model this? And of course, my answer was... Boss Extreme. <laughs> Boss Extreme. <laughs> but then I said, oh, that would probably make a good model for the finals. So we see here on uh, on both screens, both of our runners have decided to create this as kind of a cone, the cone shape going up to the top, doing a revolve. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, and now we see that Atze on the right. Wow, both of them are making the same geometry at the same time. This That's is amazing. Cool. Yeah, it's like a mirrored. Like we're just watching two of the same screen mirrored over. Yeah. So cool. I think this is like exactly what um, Aaron C was saying how it like def like the weirdness of the wall thicknesses defines how you make it and the order that you make it in and I think that both these runners also kind of know that that's what we're seeing similar geometry at the same time yeah they're definitely both aware and they're, they're trying not to try not to make a silly mistake you know and trying to make sure that they get in there and and uh, create that geometry interesting to see look at Ricardo Jean on the left there was trying to add a fillet and it just wouldn't let him just solid works being solid works as we say hmm. Okay, and Ricardo Jean using that shift to pick an arc and dimension to the point of tangency. Very nice. Pro move. Very nice pro move. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and we see Ricardo Jean getting that first cut in place. Well done. That was one of the hints. One of the hints on this drawing is that, you know, in the real world, I think this model would probably have a little bit more lofting, a little bit more angle work. Um, but we decided for the tournament to just make it so that you could extrude that right from the, the central plane, mm. you know, right from the, the standard plane. Um, and it looks like both of our runners picked up on that hint and were able to create that geometry. And Ricardo moving through and getting that geometry for that upper fin region in place. And now we're going to see him jump into a shell command. So Ricardo on the left using a shell command to shell this thing out. We see Ace on the right going through and adding some fillets. Wow, Ricardo was really able to get those fillets in there fast. Wow. And now Ricardo has shelled this thing and now is facing the dilemma that we talked about originally that Aaron C. mentioned as well. The dilemma with regards to the wall thickness. Yeah. So... Ricardo Jean trying to figure out what he's going to do about that, trying to come up with kind of a game plan on that. Looks like he's uh, recognizing that there was a fillet down there at the bottom that that maybe he missed. Kind of double checking his geometry, looking at the print. 
making sure that the geometry that he's creating looks like the print. Meanwhile, Atze on the right, looking like uh, he's got the geometry in place, but once again, you know, needing to look at the geometry, look at the print, and and try to ask himself, you know, does this look right? Does this look matched up? Does something look off here? So, very interesting. Yeah. And you know, all I can say is just like it's, I think it's a testament to both like the weirdness of this model and also both the capability of these runners to blitz through stuff and also the ability for them to practice restraint on a lot of it. Mm. Like, I think that, I think that they're very deliberately like taking their time double checking. They're still working fast, obviously, but making sure that they have everything because this is a, this is a really weird model. Yes. And look at Ricardo Jean there. He saw that the the model did not look like the print down the, the lower section of that chamber, the way those fillets were coming together. He saw, he said, something looks off here. And so he was able to go through and uh, and fix that up just by a, using a measure command. And he measured from the bottom up to the top. So uh, very, you know, very res resourceful and definitely something that we as CAD users often run into where... You know, if things don't quite look right, you got to figure out how you're going to resolve it. Mm -hmm. Looks like Ricardo Jean there trying to use maybe a delete face to fill in that region. Ooh. But now he's just going to go back to the old standby of convert entities and extrude and just kind of uh, plug that geometry. Uh, I like it. I like it. I think this is, uh, you know, he's definitely solidifying that base. And we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening here. We'll see. How this, uh, oh, look at that delete face. The little delete dingus there, a little delete face. Very nice. Really, really like that. Chris Castle saying, this is the best head-to-head -head I've seen. Yeah, these guys are both absolute wizards. And I think we're going to end up seeing an answer coming in here to the chat. We're going to keep an eye on the chat. There it is, Ricardo Jean coming into the chat. 15.12, and guys, that is correct. 15.12 is correct. Wow, wow, and wow. Wow, that was absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah. And uh, per Aaron C's comment earlier, coming through and getting this correct on the first try. Wow, wow, wow. That's I'd say cool. in the chat recognizing that uh, that was an absolutely impressive feat. Yeah. And congratulations to Ricardo Jean earning that first point and edging one step closer to the championship. Wow, wow, wow. GG to Ricardo earning that first point. You do have to win two points to move on in this tournament to officially yeah. secure your place as champion. And it's going to be up to the wheel of fate to determine what that final challenge is. But wow, that was awesome. Yeah. Woo! Guys, woo, this is what you've been waiting for. I've been uh, really looking forward to watching these guys battle and to see how they do with these models. And uh, that was that was pretty darn awesome. Yeah. My heart is definitely racing over here. That was that yeah. was like weirdly beautiful to watch on Ricardo's side. Yes, yeah. yeah. Ricardo ran into some challenges along the way. Definitely some good learning opportunities there. You know.